Okay, it's Martin from Radio Bloodstream, and I'm honored and I'm very happy to uh, introduce Ralph from uh, Primal Fear, Germany. How's, Ger how's Germany these days, Ralph? I think it's the same like in Great Britain, isn't it? Like, um, you know, everybody's just been on standby. <laughs> Nothing much happening in life, which is a pity, but we, I'm... For my opinion, I totally understand it because we have to do this to keep it away from us, and uh, it's only smart. It's hard for us, but I think we can do this. So, uh, yeah, one of the questions, Ralph, was uh, what was Primal Fear doing the last four weeks? Nothing. <laughs> no, it's not true. We're always busy people. I mean, uh, everybody on his, in, in his home, for instance, I'm teaching students, I'm recording songs for different bands and so forth. So I'm always busy. And of course, we're doing a lot of promotion now for the new album, which is uh, absolutely the, the most important thing for us to do right now because we release a new album, 24th of July. We released several several singles before. We are shooting videos. We're doing photo sessions and so forth. And yeah, that's it was quite also on hold uh, the last month. We shot the first video for Long Cape the Devil. In the rehearsing studio, being apart from each other and, and taking care, uh, not having invited everybody from the band because no, no, one, no one was flying from, from Denmark or Sweden or wherever they come from. So, <laughs> you know, so it was simply not happening. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's everywhere at this moment. Um, uh, it's getting a little bit better, Germany now, uh, Rob? Yes. We're slightly open up here, and uh, which I see as uh, some dangerous thing on one side but on the other hand of course it's time now no I'm divided a little bit because uh, when it comes to to about the the fear of the second wave which by the way is a great song title yep. <laughs> fear of the second wave <laughs> anyway uh, yeah. it's I mean scientists um, talk a lot these days and they do the politics but in the end they might be right so we all will see what happens but let's stay, let's stay positive it, it will not happen <laughs> yeah, so so the the thirteen album in a row you just about to release on uh, July fourteenth, twenty uh, fourth. Yes. Um, is that is that any difference between the the prior prior one or the one before? Uh, is, is something you want to tell us more about the new album? Because we are spinning the we are spinning the um, um, which is it called along along came the devil. Uh, on Radio Blast Stream. So, um, can you tell us more about the album, the whole package? Absolutely. I mean, as we have a chemistry since many years now in the band, writing songs as a team, this is a great advantage for uh, to, to, to come up with the stuff we come up with. I mean, we were very satisfied with Apocalypse and, of course, the albums before, starting from delivering the black sound-wise and songwriting-wise as well. So we didn't want to change that, uh, but we knew now it's the next step, and the band is always looking somehow forward to do the next step and always tries to improve. That's our goal in life, to improve every time we can. And uh, I'm really happy about the reaction of the press so far, because when you're doing this, when you record for months and weeks, days, weeks and months, you somehow you lose somehow um, the contact, not, not the contact, but... Somehow uh, you can't judge anymore, but um, you know that you still like it and it's great, but how, how, how you, you don't know how the people will react. And now to get the first feedback from the press, which is so overwhelming, is, is somehow for us, it's proof that we did right. And, uh, and you know, if you put away the album for, for some days, or for even for two or three weeks, and then listen to it again as a musician to, uh, uh, of, of, of a, a member who, who was writing this, and then you hear, listen to it again. You you say, "Oh yes, I think it's a good thing we did." <laughs> so, um, the basically, basically, you're supposed to go on a tour back up this new album. Uh, so, where you are, guys, with this? Yeah, we can't say anything. I mean, we're listening to talk shows where politicians uh, are are telling that we were the first uh, to stop and we'll be the last to go out there again. And once again, here I'm divided too. It's a smart thing to do. We totally understand the cost behind it. It's it's only logical, 
But in the end, um, we are suffering a lot not to play live because this is a job for us, and um, it's uh, we, we are simply not allowed to do our jobs. It's pretty hard to say it's only a job for us. Of course, it's more than a job because otherwise we wouldn't have started to make music. To be very yes. honest, yes, we didn't thought about the financial or uh, um, thought behind it. But it, it's of course it belongs to the business. <laughs> yes. So, be there and if you, if you have to do a living from music you have to go out there and play live and because as we all know streaming uh, somehow brought us the, the situation not to earn a lot of bucks out of uh, out of our albums anymore and luckily there are still fans buying uh, the faithful fans are still buying and reading booklets and, and get the vinyl and everything which we're really grateful for and uh, but there's also the other side streaming uh, as we all know Spotify up and down yeah. and um, that's not easy anymore to survive as a um, artist releasing album so we have to play live and now this is stopped as well and it's, yeah. it's not easy so um, I'm just looking on your website here um, Ralph and it looks like the first gig supposed to be in uh, Russia uh, at the beginning of July. Yeah, but well, that's a festival. Yeah, it's not happening. It's, so it's that's, that's that's it's that's canceled. that's basically yeah. canceled. Probably yeah. postponed next year. Uh, yeah. So, which one you think will be the first one, in your opinion? It's hard to say because right now, uh, also our European tour starting in September is in big danger. But I, I don't, I, I can't say so much because I don't want yeah. to yeah. keep people away from buying tickets. So, but. As we all know, uh, now Germany says by the end of August there's no show. Mm -hmm. So how could be a show, hap a show happening 10 days later? Yeah, I know, you know? what you mean, yeah. I know. You have to have a lot of pre-work, you have to prepare stuff and yes. so forth. And, and also the clubs and the theaters and, and the cinema and the halls we're playing, they're in the same situation. Yes. So yes. what what you can change. So it's very, it's very hard. So um, before, before you... you gets somewhere you know when you fans can you know see you in a pit and you know um uh, at the live show you guys thinking maybe do one of these live streams at all it's not easy for prime of you because we're living in different countries and uh um, oh, you should rehearse first to, because it's been a while we play together and uh, if we want to deliver for instance uh, along came the devil i uh, yeah, I mean you have to you have to play some live some some yeah. new song well now. I mean we don't have to, but we would have mm -hmm. loved, and we would have simply rehearsed before, and that's not happening because of the pandemic. We are happy to come together this Thursday to shoot the next two videos for mm -hmm. the next two singles. Yeah, and we're, we're lucky enough that this will happen, oh. and uh, and that's the first step, right. and then we'll see what's happening. And we have several meetings after this. How are we going to proceed in terms of uh, presenting us? <laughs> so the, the first the first video will be for the um, what's it called? Along along came the devil. That was the first lyrical video, yes. Yeah. And then we, we have a second. Uh, I am alive, and hear me calling will be the next thing. That's right. Yeah. And this hap this will happen in Germany. The, yes. The video shooting. Yeah. So yeah. you get together and shoot everything yeah. together in Germany. Yes. Because um, now. Everything is opening up slightly now again. Yeah. We have to we still, we still keep the masks on wherever we are. Yeah. Uh, the makeups were for the for, for right. the video, but, but the shooting we are somehow some meters apart from each other, so that's quite big. Okay. Um, so uh, can you give us a little bit uh, insights from the video? It's going to be uh, inside or outdoors or. I get I get the script by tomorrow, so. <laughs> <laughs> so you still don't know. I'm just standing in front of the camera and uh, seeing. <laughs> you know, um, that's my job. <laughs> uh, Everything else, if, if I'm going to be an actor or something, you will see. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, is did you pick up the the song on purpose? We are alive, or is just just because? I'm alive. Yes, yes. That that was um, pretty early decided that we're going yeah. to choose that. It's the opener of the album, and it's yes, a strong, it is, yes. good song. It's got a, a very aggressive mood in the verses and a very melodic and open mood in the chorus. Uh huh. Okay. Just pretty much pleasing many fans of ours. Oh, okay, great. Um, so I don't know. Um, 
So we don't know we're going to see you next. Um, there's probably, there will be no live stream. Uh, you're going to do one of those unplugs at least for us. Never say never, but, but uh, <laughs> we, actually we did for the last uh, release shows we did uh, for Apocalypse, we did some uh, acoustic sets which were quite so successful and quite really good happening and, and good working. I, I was really su positively surprised. Never say never, but at the moment, I didn't meet the guys yet, so we have to discuss this. All right. Okay. So, um, as you're saying, you know, you're working as a team. Um, uh, I'm not really familiar with, you know, who's who's behind the work in Primal Fear. So, who's doing war, uh, music and lyrics in, in Primal Fear? Uh, That's, we split this, um, the, the work behind the lyrics and melodies and stuff. So, Matt, um, Tom, and I, and, and Magnus and stuff, we split pretty much the work behind that. Split, you mean, between the team or? Yeah, yeah, in the team, yes. So, some, so, what are you exactly doing, Ralph? What... Yeah, if they, the guys uh, think that this, this just send me a playback for one or three, four, five, six songs, and say, Ralph, give give us your input. Uh, we would love to hear you there, and and I'm happy about that. Right. And sometimes Matt also, also already has an initial idea many times on, on the songs we're playing and and, and composing. And um, if they're so good already that I can say, oh, yes, I can imagine to do this and that. And he wants me to sing it in my way. And that's what I'm doing in the songs. You know? Oh, I see. OK. Yeah. Um, uh, you, you mentioned, you know, before before we let you go, uh, you mentioned at the beginning you you are teaching, uh, uh, you know, uh, are you doing it over the Skype or how are you doing now? Yes, I'm teaching via Skype, and I also have some students here in my home, which is not also not happening happening right now, but uh, via Skype, it's still happening worldwide, and that's a good yes. thing. Yes, it so, is. It's wonderful this technology these days, is it? So, it is. Yeah, man, man, imagine you know, ten years ago, I don't think that's that will be happening. You know. True. True. Um, okay, uh, Ralph. Before I let you go, any any last word for the fans, please? Yeah, I mean, this is just you know. Building up words like uh, giving people confidence to hang in there and be patient. I mean, there's nothing else we could do different. So we have to all we all have to wait. And yeah. I'm sure we will have big festivals again in the audience yeah. uh, and stuff. You know, because it's just rock and roll will never survive without having an audience at the level. No, no, no. Play it's definitely, you know. definitely. Well, I was yeah. ta I was talking about another guy in from Czech Republic the other day, and the starting opening like a small venue, small pubs, and a small, like uh, uh, you know, up to three hundred or five hundred people. Yeah. Uh, it's something you know. Uh, for uh, Primal Fear is actually big band, and you know, it's, uh, fill the fill the stadiums and stuff like that. It's something you know. You might be do clubs if that's possible. Never say never. We take the first opportunity and somehow we, we have a booking management. We have many people behind the, yep. the seat working for us, which yes. are also important right. uh, to decide this. Okay. But at the end, the band is deciding the last yes, uh, go or no. And um, yes, there's still meetings to come. It's a, it's a bit too early to talk about it. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Ralph, for for your time, and I hope you uh, see you soon somewhere on a festival, or you know we can talk about you know face to face, not through the through the television here. <laughs> Maybe Mark. Yes. All right. Thank, yes. Frank here before, so we have that later on the festivals well, next year then. <laughs> yes, we'll do. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Thank have you very much. Bye. You too. Cheers. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, so uh, that was a uh, Rafael from Primal Fear. Uh, give us some uh, insights and uh, you know how they feel and what's going on in the band. Unfortunately, uh, we all we all hear the same. Um, you know, we can't tour. We like to see you, all the fans, and obviously we can't go out. We love to, and we have to sit home on our asses and uh, just wait. You know, if uh, this uh, COVID nineteen will go away. Uh, sooner or later than uh, uh, so we can go out and play some some tunes um, anyway um, this is it this is it for, for me right now I will play the uh, already mentioned uh, the already mentioned uh, track from uh, from the latest album called Metal Commando Re will be released on July 24th 
so in about two months from now and uh, yeah two months and uh, let's uh, let's listen you know um, I was I think it, you're gonna like it it's pure uh, it's like a pure metal kind of thing so definitely definitely worth it worth it to try um, and um, we all might have uh, this is already spinning on uh, radio blast stream this t uh, this uh, primal fear tune this track uh, along came the devil and then we will have another one uh, probably next week or week after that from the same album and soon they release the album the album will be available uh, will be spinning on a, our uh, playlist so uh, stay tuned and don't forget we will have another interview tomorrow let just let me take a look um, the name of the the name of uh, of the uh, band and it's uh, I believe it's a nine o'clock if I'm not mistaken it's a nine o'clock tomorrow uh, yeah nine o'clock uh, uh, British British summertime uh, so 10 o'clock uh, uh, Central Eastern time and at the band called Neurotic Machinery I believe they from Czech Republic I'm not 100 sure but uh, I believe they are and we will have a chat uh, they have a, a great announcement to make as well so we'll see uh, okay enough talking uh, let's play let's play the primal fear along with along came the devil along came the devil all right i have to i got to find out how to play at the same time <laughs>
Yeah, so that was uh, Primal Fear. And uh, let me see my ugly face. And um, yeah, we just have a quick chat with Ralph, uh, the singer and the founder of uh, Primal Fear. Uh, a couple of minutes ago, basically, he mentioned, you know, it's not easy for them to stay home. They like to see you guys, especially because they about to release a new album uh, called Metal Commando on July 24, 2020. So in about two months or so. And you just uh, heard one of the one of the trucks from the album uh, called Alan Came, the devil. Um, these guys not sure if they're going to go on tour even this year. So let's keep our finger crossed and we'll see. Hopefully everything goes well. So this is it from, uh, from me today as a live show. And tomorrow um, at uh, 9 o'clock, let me check the Facebook of Radio Bloodstream, Radio Bloodstream Facebook. So um, it's called 9 o'clock uh, British Standard Time, so 10 o'clock uh, Central Eastern Time, a band called Neurotic Machinery. So we will have a chat with them tomorrow at 9 o'clock. All right. So guys, stay safe. I hope you enjoy um, the radio blast stream. And if you have any comments, if you like to talk to me, give me a call, drop me a text, send me an email, everything on our Facebook, radioblastream.com, which you can see right there. Or you can um, just check our Facebook, Radio Bloodstream. And that's it for today. It's a beautiful afternoon in Liverpool. Not rainy, it was a little bit overcast, that the sun's coming out now. And I hope you all guys safe. And if you have anything you want to talk to me, let me know. Love you all. See ya. Bye.